In this video, we are going to evaluate the expression 1 divided by square root 2 plus 2 plus 1 divided by 2 square root 3 plus 3 square root 2 plus 1 divided by 3 square root 4 plus 4 square root 3 up to 1 divided by 6 to 4 square root 6 to 5 plus 6 to 5 square root 6 to 4. Since square root 1 equals to 1, we can write the first expression as 1 divided by square root 2 plus 2 equals to 1 divided by 1 multiplied by square root 2 plus 2 multiplied by square root 1. Now this is how the new expression look like. We just replaced 1 divided by square root 2 plus 2 by 1 divided by 1 multiplied by square root 2 plus 2 multiplied by square root 1. Now each of the terms in the denominator have two consecutive numbers. Here we have 1 and 2. Here we have 2 and 3. Here we have 3 and 4. And at the end we have 6 to 4 and 6 to 5. Let's consider these two consecutive numbers as n and n plus 1 because n and n plus 1 are consecutive numbers. Now in each of these terms 1 is divided by the smaller number which is n multiplied by the square root of the larger number which is n plus 1 plus the larger number which is n plus 1 multiplied by the smaller number which is n. You can see that here the smaller number 2 is multiplied by the larger number square root 3 plus the larger number is multiplied by the square root of smaller number which is n. Hence we can re represent each of these terms as 1 divided by n multiplied by square root n plus 1 plus n plus 1 multiplied by square root n. Now we can write n equals to square root n multiplied by square root n and n plus 1 equals to square root n plus 1 multiplied by square root n plus 1. Now this gives us 1 divided by we can replace n by square root n multiplied by square root n multiplied by this n plus 1 multiplied by square root of n plus 1 plus now we can replace this n plus 1 by square root of n plus 1 multiplied by square root of n plus 1 multiplied by in square root n. Now we have square root n multiplied by square root n plus 1 common in both these terms. Hence taking square root n multiplied by square root n plus 1 common gives such square root n is remaining here square root n plus square root n plus 1 is remaining here square root n plus 1. Since we have square root in both n and n plus 1 we can take the square root common to give 1 divided by square root of n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by we can write square root n plus square root n plus 1 edge square root n plus 1 plus square root n. Now in order to rationalize the denominator we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by square root n plus 1 
minus square root n divided by square root n plus 1 minus square root n. Now the denominator is in the form of a plus b multiplied by a minus b where a is equals to square root n plus 1 and b is equals to square root n and the formula for the identity equation a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equals to a square minus b square in the numerator we have square root n plus 1 minus square root n so square root n plus 1 minus square root n divided by square root n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by the formula for a plus b multiplied by a minus b is a square minus b square hence a square is square root of n plus 1 square minus b square is square root of n square this gives us square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n divided by square root of n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by square root of n plus 1 whole square is equals to n plus 1 because the square root 1 by 2 and the square 2 will cancel out to give 1 minus square root of n square is equals to n now plus n and minus n will cancel out to give 1 so this gives us square root n plus 1 minus square root n divided by square root n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 1 which is equals to square root of n plus 1 minus square root n divided by square root n multiplied by n plus 1 now separating these two terms gives us square root n plus 1 divided by square root n multiplied by square root n plus 1 minus because we have minus sign here square root n divided by square root n multiplied by square root n plus 1 now square root n plus 1 will cancel out in the numerator and denominator here and square root n will cancel out with square root n in the numerator and denominator here so this gives us 1 divided by square root n minus 1 divided by square root n plus 1 and each of these terms is equals to 1 divided by square root of the smaller number which is n minus 1 divided by square root of the larger number which is n plus 1 hence we can write each of these terms equals to 1 divided by the square root of the smaller number minus 1 divided by the square root of the larger number hence 1 divided by square root 2 plus 2 is equals to 1 divided by the square root of small the smaller number which is 1 square root 1 minus 1 divided by the square root of the larger number which is 2 plus here in the second term we have 1 divided by the square root of the smaller number which is 2 minus 1 divided by the square root of the larger number which is 3 plus for the third term we have 1 divided by the square root of the smaller number which is 3 minus 1 divided by the square root of the larger number which is 4 and for the last term we have 
1 divided by the square root of the smaller number which is 6 to 4 minus 1 divided by the square root of the larger number which is 6 to 5. Now each of the middle term will cancel out like minus 1 divided by square root 2 will cancel out with plus 1 divided by square root 2 and minus 1 divided by square root 3 will cancel out plus 1 divided by square root 3. Hence all the middle terms will cancel out to give only the first term and the last term. So this gives us 1 divided by square root 1 minus 1 divided by square root 6 to 5. This is the first term and this is the last term. So this is equals to 1 divided by square root 1 is 1 minus and 1 divided by square root of 6 to 5 is 25. The LCM of the denominator is 25, 25 and in the numerator we have 1 multiplied by 25 minus 1. So this is equals to 25 minus 1 is 24 divided by 25. So this is our answer.